Modern physics is divided into two parts, the classical physics of Newton with his laws of motion and quantum physics with its probability. Only a hidden variable would explain the probability of quantum mechanics, uniting physics. The problem is such a variable would have to affect all of matter of the universe from its creation to the present day. But there is one variable that has done just that, the variable of time itself. In physics there is no understanding of the forward momentum of time. But in quantum atom theory, time is created at the quantum level of the atoms by the emission and absorption of electromagnetic radiation from one atom to another. When light comes in contact with the electrons on the surface of an atom, there will be a photon-electron coupling. This will cause a quantum leap of energy, creating a wave function of future possibilities. In this way, two-dimensional space on the surface of an atom expands into three-dimensional space-time. The wave function will take the form of a light sphere of quantized wave fronts. Because it is impossible to achieve absolute zero, atoms will continuously radiate out wave fronts. When a wave front comes in contact with another atom, it will collapse into a moment of time, and then the next wave front will create the next moment in a chain reaction, creating the forward momentum of time. In this way, time is quantized, moment by moment, and the photon that forms the wave fronts is a quantum particle in the moment of now when there is a photon electron coupling but is a wave moving through space time. We have the probability of quantum physics because we need more than one atom to create the process of time. When we observe only one atom we see a expanding quantum wave particle function that the observer can collapse into a quantum particle that will have its own position in time and space that never existed before the wave function collapsed. This gives us the uncertainty principle of quantum physics and it also gives us free will to create our own future space-time. This is very difficult to visualize but in this oil painting of a geisha girl walking through sunlight the wave particle duality of the light will collapse as she walks through the rays of light. She will collapse the wave function into moments of time and space, creating her own space-time. The best way to see this happen directly with light is in the two-slit experiment. The light will expand in all possible directions as a wave particle function of quantized wave fronts. When the wave function reaches the screen with the two slits, the photon will react with the electrons of the screen. This will collapse the wave particle duality of the light, creating new quantum particles in space and new moments in time. The part of the wave that does not come in contact with the screen will expand in all possible routes going through both slits as two light spheres of quantized wave fronts. Constructive and destructive interference between the waves will cause them to superimpose or cancel each other out. When this wave particle function comes in contact with the screen it will collapse creating moments in time and quantum particles in the shape of an interference pattern. When the observer turns on a detector to determine which slit a photon passes through, the interference pattern collapses. This is because to observe the photon, we have to create a photon-electron coupling, collapsing each wavefront into a new quantum particle that will have its own position in space and time. If we turn the detector off, we remove the photon-electron coupling and in time the interference pattern will reform. Just like in Newton's first law of motion, the interference pattern will continue to maintain its state unless acted upon by an external force. We have entanglement because the polarization will be set at the creation of each expanding wavefront. The wavefront will expand in the form of a light sphere and the polarization will remain the same for the entire surface of the light sphere, no matter how large it becomes. Because each atom is creating its own space-time at the same rate that light moves, the expansion of light between the atoms will always be a universal constant, independent of the motion of the source. This can also explain why light is so beautiful when it strikes an object, 
it is because we are looking at a moment of pure creation of time and space. When the wave fronts of two spheres comes in contact, we will have destructive interference, and the wave fronts will, out of phase, will cancel each other out. There will also be constructive interference between the wave fronts that are in phase, and they will superimpose. The radiant energy will be entirely absorbed proportionally to the masses within the objects. This will cause an unbalanced force, and the two objects will resonate together in a process known as gravity. Because, because atoms consist mostly of empty space, electromagnetic radiation of short wavelengths, like X-rays, can penetrate the objects, and therefore every single part of matter can take part in the gravitational interaction. We have the inverse square law because the surface area of the light sphere increases with the square of the radius. Thus the strength of the gravitational field is inversely proportional to the square of the distance from the source. Therefore we have a universal dynamically evolving geometry of time in the form of ever-expanding spherical quantized wave fronts. The observer will fill this as the forward momentum of time and will see patterns of a beautiful symmetry not just because of their mathematical position in space but it is also because of their sequence in time. The atoms will distort the, the geometry of time creating mathematical patterns of ever conceivable shape. The same basic method of pattern formation, the same mechanism of symmetry breaking governs the whole universe of organic and non-organic matter. Everything will form into ever greater complexity because everything is creating its own space-time geometry of ever greater diversity. This can explain the dynamics of evolution from simple to complex. Even in something as simple as a snowflake we have total diversity. There is no two patterns of snowflakes the same. This is because the atoms of each snowflake are creating their own space-time geometry, therefore their own symmetry. Only a slight distortion in the space-time symmetry will expand out, creating the visual and mathematical patterns of our universe. In this theory, infinity is not a mathematical paradox, but an actual reality. Each individual atom creates its own infinity by collapsing the wave function into moments of time that will have a position in space. This can explain the problem of mathematical infinities in quantum electrodynamics that can only be cancelled out in a process called renormalization. The calculations for each coupling on a Feynman diagram are infinite. In quantum atom theory, these infinities represent the continuous process of the time continuum, creating the infinity of space-time, and therefore there is no need for renormalization. It is easy to see how our infinite sequence of whole numbers can represent the infinity of three-dimensional space, because the numbers can be used to represent three-dimensional shapes. But it is the irrational numbers that drop out of the whole number sequence that represent the never-ending expansion of time. In quantum atom theory, the irrational number pi is a physical constant of probability and represents the expanding curvature of space-time. It is not just because they are random and carry on expanding forever, it is their position within the whole number system that points towards their link with the forward momentum of time. The wave function expands as a volume of space in the form of a light sphere. It takes three numbers to calculate a volume of space and the decimal expansion of pi starts at the number three. This theory is very simple but I think it is also very beautiful we have free will to create our own future within the dynamically evolving universe of Einstein, and quantum mechanics and classical mechanics of Newton are united 